Growing up in Canova, West Virginia was a little like Mayberry. And when I was a kid, I wanted to be Opie Taylor. But I never dreamed that I would have a chance to share the stage with a man who I used to watch every week on TV. It is my great honor to welcome Mr. Andy Griffith. I appreciate it. <laughs> I like most all kinds of music. I taught high school choral music for three years, and before I became an actor, I wanted to be a singer. I was raised in Mount Airy, North Carolina. And <laughs> thank you. The old hymns like, like when they ring the golden bells for you and me, the old rugged cross, softly and tenderly, Jesus is calling, have always been part of my life. On the old Griffith show, sometimes by myself and sometimes with Barney Fife. Well, we used to sing hymns. And on that lawyer show, Matlock, there were hymns. And uh, not long ago, I made a gospel album called I Love to Tell the Story, and it's just full of the old hymns. But there's something to say about new sacred music, too. Right, Michael? Absolutely. Let's